Guys from Gokura, another weekly video. As you can tell, we've got our sunny, come, sunny days coming in. Nice thermal guy riding behind me is one of the locals here. And the wind's starting to pick up pretty much every day now. And it's now uh, crawling through a taper, which means we're going to have a pretty strong April. And therefore, of course, when the season officially starts in May, we're going to have some reliable this wind. Uh, the thing that we're going to do today, though, in the media, besides telling you how great it is where we are, is uh, that we're going to have a look at the one thing you haven't had in your hands probably since the last summer, and that is this thing here, your bar. Now, the thing that you should have a look at is whether your bar is ready for your next session, because the last thing you want to do is to worry about whether your kit is ready or not. So today we're going to go and check our bar, see if it's properly trimmed, if it has anything that needs looking at, such as damaged lines, and of course, more important than anything else, we're going to check if all our safety systems work reliably. The first thing you have to do, of course, is unwind the lines off your bar. As you walk your lines, pass the lines through your hands carefully, checking for knots, tears, or any kind of damage. Find the pole, a tree, or anything else where you can tie a piece of rope onto and tie it in such a way that you've got two ends coming off of it. Make a knot on each end. Make sure that these knots are equidistant from the pole so that there's no difference between the two line ends. Now we're going to attach our kite lines to the rope that we tied onto the pole or the tree. The lines themselves can be attached just like you would attach them onto the pigtail of your kite. If one of your line ends has a knot and the other a loop, you'll probably be able to push that knot over itself and create a lark's head so that you create a loop on that line as well. Most kite systems are built this way and it shouldn't be a problem to change it if necessary by just tying a knot. If you've got a five line kite system, you attach three lines to one of those rope ends. It doesn't matter which one, you just wanna split as much as possible between the two rope ends, otherwise you'll get a difference in line lengths. Now you go to your bar and open up the adjuster to get maximum power. Do not forget this step, otherwise your lines will never be equal length. Pull onto the bar, making sure you're not hooked into your chicken loop and check that the chicken loop is actually touching the bar. As you lean into your bar, what you're looking for is whether one of the lines slacks more than another. So as you detension the lines, you should see all of the lines equally droop down to the ground. If one line droops earlier than another, that means that that line is too long and needs to be adjusted. Next thing to do is check the quick release system. Open it up, make sure it opens easily, check for any kind of obstructions, sand, pebbles, check for wear and tear, and put it back together again. If you haven't opened your quick release in a while, that's nothing to be proud of. I do it before every kite launch to be sure that I can rely on it when things go wrong. If you make it a habit to check your quick release system before every launch, when the need arises and you actually have to pull it in an emergency, you will not hesitate. Same applies to the quick release system on your leash. Open it up, check for wear and tear and any kind of obstructions and put it back together again. I highly recommend you attach it to the front of your harness. Most pros nowadays have it attached here as well, so there's no reason for you to have it behind your back on a sliding leash system. That is dangerous, and we've made an instructional video explaining the details to that. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you uh, learned something and uh, you uh, stick to my advice. Check your bar before you, uh, you go out on your first session. And uh, see you soon next week. Bye.